Hey everyone, this is just a quick video here um, showing uh, just some of the things that are changed in the new firmware 0.2.0 for HB1 hybrid oscillator. To upgrade, the procedure is in the manual in the back, um, but it's pretty easy. You put the binary file on the SD card, and then you the, uh, make sure there's only one binary file for firmware. That's the one you want to update to. With the module off, when you turn it on, hold these two buttons, the right and down. While it turns on, it will come up and prompt you and say this is the firmware update. And you could bail out at that point and turn it off or follow the prompts, hitting the plus button to erase the memory and then install. And then it will say it's complete, hopefully, and say zero errors, and then you reboot. Okay, so there's a couple little things um, that were fixed in this version. Uh, a couple of the uh, options like the try uh, octave up and the wavetable octave up. And I think one other thing was not saving to non-volatile memory and it would forget. Uh, so that's fixed. The, um, the tuner is expanded to um let me turn this up it uh, works accurately uh to like um c1 to c6 okay and also i've improved the action of the tuning it's very smooth jumpy and when it's not so single click still gives you a lock for tuning but when it's uh, unlocked if you double click it'll reset you to uh, high noon center same with detune okay so I want to reset double click bam okay so that's some nice stuff little housekeeping stuff. Okay. Moving on, we have uh, this first option, aux CV to fold. So previously we had fold, and we had bit crush, and we had, that was it. So now we have wavetable chord. This only applies to the wavetable output. Um, and that will give you a chord that is uh, based on the, it's going to quantize the aux CV in and give you uh, different chords. There's a table of them in uh, about 35 of them that's listed in the manual. You can do it. interesting stuff like put your uh, pitch CV in there. So it's kind of selecting some random chords that are based on the quantized voltage here. Okay, pretty sweet. Uh, also, if you scroll over again, uh, you have wavetable cluster. This again only applies to the wavetable output. And that gives you five oscillators with these detune spread um, selectable by this CV. So I'm just putting a voltage uh, zero to five volts. When it's all the way five volts, it's gonna give that upper oscillator uh, a fifth and an octave up and down 
uh, away, and then everywhere in between. That's pretty cool for, um, like, let's get rid of the uh, pitch CV and then um, just open the BCA up. It's pretty good for drones and stuff. Later, try uh, sawtooth mixed in with all that. stuff. So that is wavetable cluster uh, CV to cluster. Oh, and then I forgot. I Actually, that was a, a version before this. I made the um, display of the LFO view uh, a lot smoother. Runs at a higher frame rate. So that is the firmware 0.2.0 the manual will be updated and uh, you can read about these new features in there and um, get your HV1 if you've got one updated if you don't have one well go get one I dare you seriously no I don't but that'd be sweet uh, right on thanks for watching and happy patching